We're here at ASCO 2015 talking about precision genomics. Now, Gary, tell us a little bit about what the three major key milestones were for precision genomics. Well, it really started first with Dr. Derek Haslam having a vision um, for the future of oncology and different vision that really was transformative. But that wouldn't happen without bringing his college buddy here to Intermountain Healthcare, Dr. Lincoln Nadal. Right. Dr. Nadal was at Stanford. Uh, with an MD PhD, he was involved in the establishment of science with Dr. Haslam's background in clinical care. The two of them together really established precision medicine at Intermountain Healthcare. So the second milestone that was kind of born out of that relationship and that, that joint vision um, was a personalized medicine clinic. So the personalized medicine clinic was piloted in St. George, Utah. Um, with Dr. Haslam's clinic and patients there received personalized care based on their genome. And the third milestone was to then take what we learned from that experience in that pilot and, es and establish precision genomics and expand uh, the opportunity to treat patients differently in stage four metastatic disease based upon genomic information and um, personalized care. So what that really leads to ultimately for Intermountain Healthcare is a translational medicine initiative that expands far beyond cancer and oncology into cardiovascular genomics and precision medicine, neurogenomics, the neonatal world, um, and the whole disease spectrum that precision medicine and personalized medicine will, will transform. So how does that translate into um, the oncology world? Why is, why is precision genomics so important for the oncologist? Because it informs the oncologist, especially when there are no other treatment options available. So stage four cancer patients who are not responding, who have failed uh, uh, several lines of, of treatment, um, precision genomics guides them and gives them the molecular information that they need and informs the oncologist about what the molecular data is telling them. It's not enough just to give them a, a report, a molecular test result. Right. The oncologists in the community throughout the country need expertise, molecular tumor board expertise to help guide them in their disease management for their, for their patient. Okay. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thank you.